Hello and welcome to another Nick Gay video. Sensor Tower has released the sales data for the month of October and I'm going to discuss it. Please leave a like and a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. Before I start, please know that this is for mobile sales only. ShiftUp is the only one who has the PC sales data and they have not released that. Before I show you how much they made in the month of October, I'm just going to quickly mention just how this chart works. So the first column is going to show their placement. If you see a dash, that means that their placement has not changed. If you see an arrow, that means their placement has went up. And the number adjacent to it is how many spots they went up in. If you see a down arrow, that means it had went down. And the number adjacent to it, that's how many positions it had went down. So here looking at Nikkei, it had got 32 million within September. I know that is a lot. You know, this, this game is doing pretty well. And I'll go ahead and show now how much they got for the month of October. So they did pretty bad on the month of October. You see, they got about 13 million. Of course, that is better than other games as well. I'm going to show you in just a moment. And again, this is only for mobile sales. So we don't know the total amount. But let me go ahead and just mention what's on the screen now. Unfortunately, a lot of games went down in sale. Really, the only one that had went up would be at the first place for the Hanukkah Star Rail and a few others here at the bottom, too. But since this is a Nikkei video, I'm only going to be really focusing on Nikkei. Uh, let me go ahead and go down here for some honorable mentions. For example, like Final Fantasy VII, um, even for J Japanese and also for the global, um, it has been doing worse. I know they recently went through a summer event. I just, I don't know what their sales forecast for this game is. I know Final Fantasy VII is a very big name. So I'm guessing they're expecting huge things from the Final Fantasy VII franchise. But um, yeah, it's getting worse per month. Yeah, let me just keep going down. I mean, there's a, a lot of games. See, you're going to see a lot of red for a lot of these games. You know, Azure Lane, Blue Archive and stuff like that. A lot of them. Path of Nowhere is at least getting a little bit up there. Reverse 1999. I mean, it's it's doing all right. I mean, for global, it's doing 800,000 um, for Japanese. I mean, with 600,000, not bad. I'm not sure how well of a big name that game is, but I know a lot of people were hyped up for it. And also another thing too, Limbus Company is doing pretty good right now. I mean, it went a little bit higher, which is better than nothing. I know there's a lot of drama regarding some artists then them being fired for something. I don't know. I don't know the exact drama with that, but I'm glad that it's not floundering so bad. And then we just keep going down. And yeah, so you're going to see a lot of red on this chart. Uh, so a lot of things are not doing well. But of course, how I just mentioned, this is a Nikkei video. So I just want to go ahead and just focus on Nikkei while just looking at a, a few of the other ones. But just again, how Nikkei here, it is in fifth place currently. It did earn 32 million in September for mobile sales, but in October, yeah, it went all the way to 13 million. And luckily I do have my Excel spreadsheet here, so I could go ahead and show you guys a little bit easier here. Um, I managed to spruce it up from compared to the last time, so I made it a little bit easier to read and also covered up all the white so uh, you guys don't get blinded by all the white lights. I know a lot of you view the videos in dark mode. So again, um, I'm only gonna be showing the four recent months. And if you notice on the first column here, it's a duration of each banner. I know some of these uh, go from one month to the next is because they sort of roll over. And just like I stated in the previous video, a lot of people do their rolls within the first few days. And then eventually, depending on how the unit is, a uh, FOMO kicks in. And then a lot of people do their rolls in the last few days. So that's why I put uh, like example for Mass, she rolls over from July and August. And there's a few other examples like Marciana. She rolls over from September to October there. So that's why I do have them sometimes listed twice there. And also as well, all the sales are in millions. Um, I know compared to other games, like I just showed you on the list, we could be doing way worse, but I just wanted to just focus on the four recent months here. And if you do look at the graph, that's a little bit here to the right. And the sales were increasing as soon as the summer units were going out, especially summer in Nice and Helm. And then it went even higher once the near collab came out. So if you look at the sales data, it went from 15 million, 20 million, and then 32 million from there. Uh, for the month of October, it did go down. And I think that had to do partly um, not because of the units that were released. Unfortunately, everybody knew that the one year anniversary was right around the corner. So a lot of people really didn't want to spend just because shift up wasn't telling us what was coming out, which I totally understand. Now, let me go ahead and show you the, the lifetime mobile sales data. So this is the mobile lifetime sales data. So usually the month of November, that's when the game came out and, you know, it was getting close to 70 million. And then from there, it just kept gradually declining. It did raise up a little bit when, once Modernia came out, it did go down and then the summer units and the near collab. And then we're going to show you all the actual data here. So this is the whole data of all the banners that were released. I did spruce it up a little bit more. I managed to actually fix the icon so now you can actually see what's there. Not only that, um, I did put the mission pass as well. So you're able to see what mission passes were there. Of course, the mission pass didn't cover the whole month. They just, I need to get the actual dates for the mission pass. So I just put them there for now. 
but if not if you actually look at the months and also the sales are here as well yeah so if we could go ahead and just look at the graph here you can see in november obviously that's when the game started so that's going to be the helm and laplace banner you know those are the first two banners that are out and also uh diesel's costume which is very similar to the one that we got free now that was also released during that time and then pretty much there was like a huge slump all the way till april so we go ahead and look at april that's going to be a sakura d alice and dorothy there of course a few months before that that was modernia and that was going to be in january so you see if in january it did spike up a little bit in january but then it slumped and then it waited to all the way to dorothy then it went all the way down so a lot of these other banners um did not do well but also i do have to mention as well that the pc release came out a little time later so that's why you're seeing the graph go down it came out on february 15th so pretty much around the same time that the chainsaw man collab came out so that we are seeing a little dip because i know a lot of people did play on pc because a lot of people do not have really really great phones so uh the pc client is a great way to play the game and all of that you could buy stuff while playing that game so you don't actually need to go through a mobile client like for an iphone or an android in order to buy any of the stuff here but either way i know a lot of people joined when dorothy was coming around that's when they were really promoting it like for the overzone event and also the white memory minigame yeah, so they're heavily promoting the half anniversary so that's why a lot of people joined and usually most of the new people that join are going to be through mobile since they just want to try out the game and then um, throughout the time unfortunately a lot of it did go down uh the sales data were going down which i'm assuming most of it was going through pc but unfortunately i do not have that data i see it kept going down and down and down until the summer units how i mentioned earlier so it was until summer anise and summer helm that's when it was going up a little bit there and then it wasn't until the near collab where it went all the way 32 million and then once the near collab left the really hyped units were uh were pretty much naga and tia i know marciana had a little hype regarding uh with her as well i know that not a lot of people pulled for query like for me uh like for myself i did not pull for query just because i did not know what the one uh year anniversary was going to hold and i'm assuming a lot of people did the same as well so that we're seeing a lot of the numbers dip I'm assuming for November, the numbers are going to go up uh, since this is a big celebration currently right now with the one year anniversary. I don't know the amount that's going to go up. And even then, since this is mobile data, uh, we do not have the exact amount yet. But yes, I mean, that's pretty much about it for the video. I just want to go ahead and mention how the sales data currently is for mobile in the month of October. I know looking at a big drop like this and even on the other image, it looks pretty bad. But you got to remember there there, uh, there are other games that are around the six figure range that are doing just fine. It's just that Nikkei is um, usually gets quite a bit of money. And of course, since I don't have the actual full sales data because only shift up has the PC data, I could only go based off the information that I'm showing you right now. And also, I would like to know what you think about the video. I mean, what do you think about the sales data? I know there's a lot of drama with Red Hood right now. Um, do you think that's actually going to affect the one year sales data or do you think it's actually going to increase from what you're seeing for the month of October, at least for the mobile sales data? Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and drop me a sub, please. I'm Scrublord and I'll see you in the next one.